female! As you can see from my gelatinous body and many waving tentacles, I am clearly not a boy of this earth. Shall we slide around on this bed of frozen liquid that is somehow clearly amusing to you earth people? So you want to talk about what ruins a show? I've never been in a rush to get around to what ruins a series or character, but in hindsight, this episode ruins Trixie, and we'll get into how. Also, plug in my Discord. <laughs> So the episode starts off at this ice rink that is apparently welcoming the school, so I can only assume it was a field trip. They show everyone having fun and put a big emphasis on the stereotypes of Chester and AJ. Ice skating sure is fun, especially when you have automatic training blades. Or you don't have skates. No! This is gonna be the best day of skating ever! And then the opposite happens. Man, I haven't said that in a long time. So this episode puts a giant emphasis on companionship, the idea that you must have someone. It's highly exaggerated for cartoonist purposes here. Like when Chester and AJ just essentially skate with each other to avoid the embarrassment of skating alone. I always found this episode interesting as a kid, because of all the episodes of Fairly Odd Parents that I saw as a kid, this one just doesn't feel right. It's like Dumped from Spongebob, it's so sad that it doesn't feel right. Now while I think I've grown to like Dumped, with this episode it feels so misplaced for the grand scheme of, well... Look! There's Trixie! Why don't you ask her? Hey, you're right! Even though she shot me down every time I've asked her before, this could be your big chance to do it on ice! Gosh, you're pretty! <laughs> And that's kind of the issue here. When you think about Trixie as a character, you should not. She does not have a character. Her debut episode used her as a device in order to drive a wedge in between Timmy's fairies and his friends for the sake of elementary school romance. Ever since then, an alarming amount of episodes have rehashed this idea. Will Timmy get the girl? Now while yes, I enjoy a lot of these episodes, that doesn't mean I should justify Trixie having a character using my enjoyment of the episodes. All me liking the episodes prove is that I like the episodes. I've covered quite a few shows that do similar aspects and dynamics to this, and I'd be a hypocrite to say that the dynamic never works. I love watching Gumball and Penny try to figure out if they liked each other. I even said in the Fish Hooks review that I ended up finding Oscar and B to be okay. But just because those episodes do it well, doesn't mean that Fairly Odd Parents did the whole teasing relationships well. Especially because after a certain point, it isn't a tease. There's a reason why Boating School episodes wouldn't work if the only thing injected into the writing was the possibility of Spongebob getting his license. You you know he's not, and the staff are self-aware, even with the generational shift. The same applies here. In this season 4 episode, after many attempts, Timmy was not going to get Trixie. This episode just finalized its grave. I should also mention though, before moving on, the fact that Timmy is excited to be rejected on ice, and that does poke a hole in my argument, but I'll address that in a moment. Face it, dude. The only way Trixie would skate with you is if you were the only boy in the whole school. That's it! I wish I was the only boy in school! You know, if I said I enjoyed a bowling ball being thrown at my groin, and no, that's not an invitation to try, this is purely a scenario, purely hypothetical, if you try this in a convention, while the security are pulling me off your body, I will get a shot at your pearly whites. But let's just say I enjoyed having a bowling ball thrown at my groin. Now apparently this time I'll have the opportunity to have this bowling ball thrown at my groin on ice. Would you think I was nuts if I did this? No. Well you should think I'm nuts if I am mad that exactly what I anticipated to happen did happen. I'm not really sure why Timmy would be so upset here in story. He explicitly said, Even though she shot me down every time I've asked her before, this could be your big chance to do it on ice. So when it happens, you shouldn't react in a way that you were expecting a positive result. One could say that female Chester's comments towards Timmy set him off, but you would think that if he had no chance, and he was self-aware of this, then he'd already know what female Chester said to be true. Worst case scenario, Timmy's thing was just that he gets off to being rejected by attractive females. Is that a thing? Tell me that's not a thing. That's that's not a thing. That can't be a thing. Anyway, rule of three surrounding Timmy getting more and more specific, and now Timmy's alone with Trixie. But that means there are less people around to adore me. I need somebody to adore me! As you can see, the episode goes through great lengths to show you that Trixie requires the attention of multiple people, and thus all of that responsibility is now thrown on Timmy's back. 
she's shown to go near psychotic levels because there's no one here except for Timmy and herself. As with the structure of general Fairly Odd Parents episodes, they're okay now. And just to be clear, if I were to look at this through the lens of a casual episode, this is a fine episode. I can show this to a child, and they wouldn't see this any other different than the previous or next episode. However, to fans of Fairly Odd Parents, I just want you to take this in mind of Trixie as a character. Her character is essentially just the girl on the other side of the popularity based glass ceiling and from channel chasers to astrology to five days of flarg and even the first episode it is crystal clear as clear as it can ever be that she's not going to get with timmy and this is super important very very important even the chase of timmy trying to get with trixie isn't entertaining so even the argument of it's the climb that makes things entertaining not the destination that doesn't work here and i'm a fan of many things that have a more entertaining climb than destination roadrunner and wally coyote tom and jerry phineas and ferb the sims minecraft roller coaster tycoon i like them not because of where they end but because they're entertaining throughout you'd have to explain to me how the climb here is entertaining well sport what do you say you wish everything back the way it was before you know who gets a little you know what you know who you're talking about me aren't you why do you hate me now aside from Wanda doing a pretty good job here story-wise, let's bring up the boy who'd be queen. The episode was about Trixie being into things that are conventionally for boys, but not wanting anyone to know for fear of judgment, and Timmy as a girl bonding over Trixie because of it. That episode is probably the one that many Fairly Odd Parents fans bring up as a really good Trixie-based episode. The issue here is, you can build the characters to be more than their archetype and then not deliver on it. Because I love that episode, I think it's a fantastic Trixie-based episode, and it's possibly one of the best, but that episode doesn't cover any of the romance part. They see each other more on a friend-like state. Also, the one thing that you would think would tear down my argument, tears down the other argument that would save this episode. And that one thing would be if every episode exists in a vacuum. If you believe this episode doesn't matter because it exists in a vacuum, then that episode, The Boy Who'd Be Queen, equally doesn't have an impact because that also exists in a vacuum. So let's live on the more interesting side, where both episodes make at least some impact. The fact of the matter is simple. This episode builds up Trixie to have something that she never ends up developing. So does that episode really have anything to offer to give my argument any believable counterpoints? Loveless! Uh, you're pretty? That's not going to work anymore! But thank you though. Now, the reason this episode ruins Trixie as a character is a two-part argument, because part one, if we are to believe her character developed down to her being essentially the girl that Timmy likes and will chase after, this episode, part two, shows us that they would not be able to sustain a relationship together, as Trixie would need the undivided attention of multiple people, and Timmy can't deliver on that. So if that's true, then why should anyone care if Timmy chases Trixie? On one hand, he's never going to get her, and on the other, even if he did it'd be like this or even worse her going to other boys and basically treating timmy like a like a listen i can't say it on this channel i'm family friendly ask me on discord cosmo stop i've been with you for more than ten thousand years don't you think if i wanted to leave i'd have left by now maybe cosmo is also jealous in this episode it's basically the part that keeps wanda away from timmy and timmy not being able to wish himself back to normal at least not yet i found it to be not as bad as other bad fairly odd parents episodes make things out to be it was fine i guess trixie finally reacts to timmy's signs of rejection with timmy breaking up with trixie taking it as a psychotic woman would attempting to take out timmy in a violent way and this makes sense because if timmy were to get with someone else like let's say tootie then and Trixie wouldn't take that well because she would associate the assumption that Tootie is prettier than Trixie and that just can't fly. Speaking of fly, she flies an attack helicopter, shoots a bunch of different sports balls, and rides on farming machines to take down Timmy while Cosmo holds Wanda hostage in fear that her and Timmy is a thing. While stupid, Cosmo never gets in the way for it to feel super annoying. In fact, in a few episodes, this episode's pretty funny. Whoa, 
Talk about your messy breakups. Cosmo, once he gets a lick of attention, realizes what Timmy must be going through, and they revert everything back to normal. I'd say it's a fine episode, but to those who see Timmy and Trixie as a thing, why? Let's say Timmy had to choose between Trixie and Cosmo and Wanda and Poof and Sparky, Foop, I don't really care. He'd be an incredible idiot to choose Trixie. Trixie was never shown at any point in this episode to like Timmy, but to be a last resort and to like what he provides. That's kind of the point of the episode here. But I am done with couple stuff for a while. It's just gonna be about me, me, me. Good news. Without further ado, I give you the perfect human, Chloe Carmichael. Oh wait, that's not how it goes. Well, they end on more couples jokes, and that was just the two of us. It's an okay episode, but it ruins the concept of Trixie, because with the writing she was given before and after, it's clear that it doesn't matter, and by connection, neither does she. It doesn't ruin the other episodes in a casual sense, but it does make me look at this from a perspective of Trixie being very low on the reasons to watch Fairly Odd Parents at all. Anyway, what did you think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to see the most confusing episode, episode of Fairly Odd Parents click here, and if you want to see another episode involving Trixie, try my Where's Wanda vs Squid Noir vs. Special thanks to the patrons of June, and until next time, take care. Alpha out.